what's going on fam this will be a update to video i've spent some time quite some time on the water with this boat a lot of things i've learned a lot of things that i saw could be kind of improved on it first off first let me show you my first upgrade my first upgrade would be the 12 gallon gas tank it is made by the same exact company uh let's see if i can get that name without jumping on top of it so one of these anyway i put it below on the description the 12 gallon gas tank i still got the six gallon on my on my boat as well i'm gonna be using both of these i'm what i'm gonna end up doing put a shut off valve here and a shut off valve on this one as well now when you buy this or if you buy this it does not come with this male fitting right here it does not come with it so what you have to do you have to purchase either a universal kit or look for that one fourth male adapter let me show you the kit that i purchased boom this is the kit that i purchased so you get a good little look at that all right that's the kit that i pur purchased and i'm gonna keep this kit on the boat because it'll come in handy if anything does go wrong with one of them other lines but primarily you need that little male adapter that goes here that i use it's a one fourth there it is right there one fourth inch npt tank fit you're gonna need it all right that's one upgrade so i can spend more time on the water not have to worry about gas at all uh for the most part this 50 horsepower doesn't really burn a lot of gas but if you're running back and forth to the lake and and i mean just save trips going to the gas station that's one upgrade that i did so you probably guess like man what other upgrade did you do don't worry i'm about to show you that other upgrade and i'm cleaning my boat out right now so let me take my shoes off all right so the second upgrade that i did to the to my house on water <laughs> second upgrade that i did boom bigger fish finder i went with the garmin plus nine sv so i get side view and i also get down image with it with gps and active captain map it does not contain an SD card, so everything you're either pulling from your own data or they do have where you can download the maps to it. But I'm fine with this. It's perfect for what I want. I can see and fish exactly how I want to fish for. Massive screen with the other one. I still kept. I'm going to keep as a spare just in case something goes wrong. Um, but this one, I can pair it with another Garmin. If I want to pair it with the Garmin uh, Live Scope, which I plan on getting in the near future, uh, I can pair it with the Garmin 9 Scope as well um for the most part it didn't reflect my battery whatsoever and i'm telling you guys i'm loving this was a perfect upgrade it was what 6.99 i try to put the description below for you if you're interested on purchases below it's easy install very easy install now you probably want to what what was the next thing that i upgraded well let me show you because i figured out something i trolled a lot I pull a lot of crankbaits looking for crappie and I haven't did any fishing video because it's a learning session for me. I want to be able to provide some content. So I got my three Scotties on this side and my three Scotty rod holders on this side. Uh, I ordered four additional ones. One to go on the back end, another go will go here and I'll be to putting two additional ones in the front. All right, so when I'm trolling these crankbaits, just to let y'all know, nobody didn't tell me this. I had to figure it out. I didn't see it online anywhere if so drop a link to the video that explains it but pulling the crankbaits you always want to put small medium and long if that makes sense small medium large poles so meaning eight foot pole your 14 foot pole 16 18 foot pole what that does that provides good separation when you're pulling those crankbaits all right so always remember that smallest pole on the inside medium then your large pole on the outside or your longest pole on the outside all right but anyway let me get my, to the next upgrade trolling 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 and i burned through that battery so what did i do i upgraded my batteries so now i have two 12 volt batteries which actually have a i don't know if you folks can see that let's see if i can get in there with that camera all right so now i'm running 122 amp hours times two all right because i got two of these and what i did i just did a parallel hookup with these so all that means is i took a so the the from the trolling motor is a four 
gauge. It's a four gauge. It's a four gauge wire. You always want to go with bigger wires when you're doing a pair of lifts. All you're doing, I went to Walmart, grabbed me two of these batteries, $89 each. I did a so you, you grab your six gauge, you can do a six gauge or eight eight yeah, six gauge or bigger. Alright, I went with the six gauge. I think I'm saying that right, yeah, but I went with the six gauge and all you're doing is going from one positive to the other positive and you're going from one negative to the other negative all right so that's two cables and then once you got that done you want to take your positive on your trolling motor on one battery and you're going to put your negative or your trolling motor on the other battery now i've got double the amber mile hours i control all day so we're going to see i just installed all this stuff so we're going to see if it gave us even more time to troll and snatch these crappie that we have here in Mississippi because it is a 12 inch limit so it should tell you how big how plentiful the lakes are here 12 inch 12 inch is 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 a limit on the fish out here no no less than 12 inches so um and a limit is 30 per person or per boat so yeah it's plenty of fish but big fish you gotta you gotta mostly get all right Another thing, if you're out on the water, you have two options. I never explained, didn't see anybody explain that you can actually transport your trailer. I mean, your bimini top. You have your extra, you got your long way that you can transport. Let me show you how it looks. It gives it a more sporty look, all right, which I love. And then you have your short method when you're transporting it. When you're transporting, you kind of want to keep it on the short option. Trees and everything, it gives it a more low profile going through areas keep it on the low option but when you get on the water you can always keep it put it back on the high option but give it that sport look so if it gets too hot boom all thing you gotta do is unzip take down and put that top down and you're good to go but for the most part man we can fish all day and what we have how we got it set up we got scissors pliers fish grips all right exact same thing on the other side all right so right now man like i said nothing has changed i love this boat Again, I did go with additional 12, 12 gallon with the six gallon, and I'm still thinking about putting a, a pedal stool for a grill here, which would be interchangeable with a casting seat, which would come probably right here. So I'm still thinking it, because I got that room right here I want to use. If not, I'm going to just mount a nice size cooler right here with some side brackets. And hey, I'll be done, because so far, I mean, everything works good on this boat so far. Um, some things you want to keep in handy on the boat, Just I just thought about that, are extra fuses. Our extra fuses. Let me show you why I say that. <clears throat> you want to keep some extra fuses on the boat. Why? You see this bad girl up there? Let me see if I can get in there. Good. This will come on your boat. And know that you may pop one of those fuses. I'm talking from experience. I don't know how I did it. I popped the cigarette lighter. I don't I don't know how I did that. Or <sighs> well, the 12 volt. I did it. I don't know how I popped it. Uh, I don't know if my daughter stuck some in there when I wasn't looking or what, but I popped it and what happened? Nothing worked as far as like my fish mind there. My lights, my radio, none of that work. And once I plugged that back in, it was a 15 amp fuse, I was good to go. Um, but for the most part, that's it. I'm cleaning up the, cleaning it up a little bit. I'm about to get ready to cover it. Oh, and another thing that I did upgrade, I forgot to explain this too. One more thing I upgraded, I upgraded my tarp to a 10 by 16. What that does, it covers the whole boat from back uh, to front. So that's it. So next video, we'll see you folks out on the water. Thanks. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again. Peace.